Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use Backhandless Console to run searches for data objects in a database that contain a geolocation property and to run those searches in a radius on the map. To do this I will switch to the data screen and I have the World Cities table that contains some of the largest cities in the world and let's just jump right into it to, to do the search in radius. Let me zoom out first of all to just a half a larger view of the of the world and in the lower left corner you'll see there is a checkbox that says map driven navigation when you select it you will use the map to drive the searches to display the data uh, that basically fits within this geographic area one of the options in the map driven navigations is called search in radius so let's click this uh, checkbox and as you can see we get little circle here that we can move around and the way this works is uh, whenever you move the circle or you make it larger then Backhandless Console uses this particular radius of that circle to execute the search for any data objects that fall within this uh, circular geographic area. And you can repeat exactly the same thing inside of your application. So we made this uh, fairly easy and straightforward just to make it easier for you to start using this feature inside of your applications. So let's just zoom in on something smaller than the entire North America uh, and uh, we will run a search for the largest cities in Texas. In fact I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and in here as you can see we have a radius of roughly uh, 400 miles. In fact, you can modify the radius right here just by typing in whatever the value. And uh, in here, now we have five cities, and then all of these cities, actually not all, uh, one of them is in Mexico, it's Juarez, but uh, we have four in United States, so I'm going to make the circle a little bit smaller. And uh, as you can see, running within this 355 miles, we have four largest cities in Texas. How do you do the same search in your application? Well, we generate a WHERE clause specifically to reflect that search in radius. And then this WHERE clause is right here. It uses a function that we support called distance on the sphere. And then one of the, it, which contains two arguments. The first argument is the point, which is going to be the coordinates of the central point. So this minus 99 and then long number and then 31 these are the longitude and latitude of the central point of this circle and the second parameter is going to be the name of a property in this table which contains all the locations and as you can see the property name is location and it has all the coordinates so we're telling the canvas hey take the central point and then analyze all the values in this location property and give us the ones where the distance on sphere is less than this miles value, which is 355.9778. But anyway, you can click on this value. It is automatically copied to the clipboard. And then we switch to REST console and we can execute exactly the same search directly against the database, the same way your application would do it. So we'll just paste the WHERE clause, click GET, and now we have the exact, exactly the same cities that we uh, saw on the map. And here we have Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, and Austin. So as you can see, it is a very straightforward process, but it is quite powerful because using this approach, you can just start doing radius-based searches inside of your applications because now you know how to generate the square clause. That's all for now. I hope you found this useful. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.